Good evening, distinguished guests, the board of directors of InterSwitch, our friends from the banks here present, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a very happy day for us all at InterSwitch. About three years ago, we met in this same hall to celebrate 10 years of InterSwitch. Right after that, we got into a situation where we had to basically sell the organization to private equity that brought in Helios Investment Partners at Level Capital and the International Finance Corporation, IFC. As expected, our life had to change with the um, advent of the private equity partners in our lives. With this change came a lot of challenges, expectations, and I'm happy to say a few years down the line, we believe we have been able to keep up with the progress, the great expectations of our new owners, and of course, you, our partners, and our friends. My job today is very simple. I'm not gonna talk about the InterSwitch brand. Cherry has done a very good job doing that. I just want to share with you some very brief presentation slides that basically I'll term as presentation of hope. A lot of interesting things have happened in this market. They continue to happen. But despite all of these challenges, with your support, we have continued to excel. And what I want to share with you today is the story of excellence and interesting things that InterSwitch has done and why we believe that we still have good reasons to look forward to the future. Tonight, InterSwitch would like to challenge you to switch the way you see transactions. In 2002, when we started, the challenge was that of infrastructure. How do we get banks to collaborate and compete at the same time? What was that infrastructure that was required to ensure that our people could get convenience, could get access to their money anytime, anywhere, okay, and in a very consistent manner? Working with you, the banks, our friends, and of course, the good staff of InterSwitch, we were able to surmount that challenge, and today we have a country where basically every bank is connected to that payment infrastructure. Right after that, we decided to build products. Today, we are telling you that we see something else happening, and we'd like to look into that future. And that is basically the essence of my presentation today. Most of you know the business of InterSwitch. I'm not going to spend time trying to tell you that. You are here because in one form or the other, you have been engaged in, with InterSwitch. The important thing here is that it is all about convenience, being able to transact safely, and creating value for stakeholders. And by stakeholders, I mean not just you yourselves as customers, but also the staff of InterSwitch, and of course, the shareholders of the company. Now, over time, we have basically restructured our business to focus on various industry verticals. Today, even though we started by focusing on financial institutions, we have moved beyond that. We now focus on social systems and services. By these, I mean government, essentially, and all the services that government renders to the people, like transportation, education, health, and the like. Today, InterSwitch has solutions running in hospitals. Today, we have solutions running in government. 32 out of the 36 state governments in this country use our solutions for revenue collections. The entire tax of this country is collected on our platform. And these solutions have all been built by the same people you have known in InterSwitch. Today, we focus a lot on communications and lifestyle. It is very easy for you to purchase airtime time using your cards, pay your bills using your cards, purchase airline tickets using your cards. These are innovations that we brought to be in the marketplace. And beyond that, we've gone into other industry segments just to ensure that we can take the value we have created working with the banks 
into these other areas. Now, the challenge for us right now is to commence a journey that we have called Striving Towards Northeast. Whenever we make this presentation internally, what comes to the mind of the people in the office about Northeast is some visa forest. <laughs> okay? Yes, it is a difficult place to go, but it is something that we need to deal with as a nation if we are going to get the kind of value we want to create. And we believe that InterSwitch is in that position to, to strive to go Northeast. What exactly do we mean by Northeast? We are saying that we had an InterSwitch that created an infrastructure and we hogged that infrastructure. We believed it belonged to us, and so we tried to shut people out of that infrastructure. Today, we have commoditized that infrastructure. Switching fees in this market has moved from 35 Naira to 5 Naira, and some of you pay way below 5 Naira. Our ultimate goal is to take switching to 1 Naira when it becomes a non-issue for you whenever you want to do transactions. In, in other words, we want to so democratize switching that it becomes commodity that nobody thinks about. That infrastructure is one that any and everybody can use, and it should be almost at no cost to you. But what that basically means is that we need to begin to move beyond the basic infrastructure. In the last few years, we have tried to create products, okay, for collections, for disbursements. Some of them have done very well. Some others have not done quite so well. But in all of this, you have been patient with us, giving us enough time to correct whatever errors there exist and make sure we create better products for you. Where we want to go to next is to take products to a situation whereby it becomes intuitive to you. Recently, we commissioned a study, and the insight we got from that was that Nigerians and indeed Africans do not care about mobile